India is getting closer to achieving its lunar dreams. This is the moon as seen from the Vikram lander days before it makes a soft landing on the moon's south pole. A successful landing on the moon will make India the fourth country to have achieved this feat. As Chandrayaan-3 moves closer to the moon day by day, all eyes are on the historic touchdown on the 23rd of August. In order to make it a successful landing, ISRO is hitting the brakes on Chandrayaan-3. The spacecraft's Vikram lander underwent the first of two crucial deboosting maneuvers, a key step for the final descent. Simply put, deboosting is a process of slowing down Chandrayaan 3. The deboosting maneuver involves reducing the spacecraft's thrust in order to achieve a stable orbit. The spacecraft's Vikram lander slowed down to enter a slightly lower orbit around the moon. The lander enters an automation mode once deboosting begins and based on data, it will decide on its own how to go about its functions. By the time the second deboosting is done on the 20th of August, the lander will be at an altitude of 30 kilometers from where the soft landing will be attempted. The lander will use its thrusters to navigate down to the surface. This is referred to as the pad braking phase. The twin challenge will be to bring down the velocity of the lander as well as transfer the spacecraft from a horizontal to a vertical direction. Then, at around 100 meters altitude, the lander will scan the lunar surface looking for obstacles. If there are none, it will begin a slow descent. The journey so far has gone exactly as planned. Chandrayaan-3 was successfully launched on the 14th of July from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh. The spacecraft was placed in a highly elliptical orbit around the Earth within 16 minutes after takeoff. For the next two weeks, Chandrayaan-3 performed as many as five orbit-raising maneuvers. On the 1st of August, ISRO successfully injected the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into the lunar orbit, marking the completion of a critical phase in the moon mission. Over the next few days, multiple orbit reduction maneuvers were performed to lower Chandrayaan-3 to a 100-kilometer circular orbit and thereby bring it closer to the moon. On the 17th of August, the propulsion module detached from the Vikram lander allowing it to descend from orbit. The propulsion module will now continue orbiting Earth for months or even years and study its atmosphere and measure the polarization of light from Earth's clouds. The deboost phase is among the different moon-centric phases. In the final lap comes the pre-landing phase, followed by landing phase, normal phase for lander and rover, and moon-centric normal orbit phase. Each milestone has been carefully charted in order to ensure success. Once on the moon, the Pragyan rover will be released to study the lunar surface. The six-wheeled vehicle has instruments configured with payloads to provide data related to the moon's surface. The success of this mission will further cement India's position in the global space exploration world.